Hello guys, how's it going? In this video, I will show you the translate string method in Python. So the translate method returns a string where each character is mapped to its corresponding character in the translation table. So this is how the syntax looks like. The method takes one parameter, which is required, and it is a translation table containing a mapping between two characters. And this table is usually created uh, by makeTrans method, but it can also be created manually. And the method will return string where each character is mapped to its corresponding character as per the translation table. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So in the first example, we have defined the table manually where the key values uh, represent the Unicode code points and the values represent the uh, characters that we want to map to. And this is the string that we want to do the mapping on. Mapping on. So if you run this, um, we can see that the character A has been uh, mapped to the character D because uh, the character A or the Unicode code value of character A is 97. Now, if you don't know this uh, this value, we can just use the or or ORD method and we can see that we have achieved a similar result. Also, if we don't know the uh, ordinal or the Unicode value of B, similarly for C, we can simply do this instead. Now, in case that we have some characters that we have not specified in the mapping, the characters remain unchanged. Or if we don't want to um, bother with, with creating the table manually, we can create the table ourselves using the makeTrans method. Now I have explained how the makeTrans method uh, works in the previous video. But just to give you a recap, we can create the table just by specifying the two equal length strings where the, um, where the characters correspond to one-to-one -one mapping. So the first character A is mapped to character E, the character C is mapped to character L, and the character C is uh, mapped to character D. And so uh, I, we can just run this, create the translation table, and now we can just uh, run the translation table, sorry, the translate method with the translation table on the string. And if you run this, we can see that the string has been converted yeah, uh, the B character has been uh, mapped to char character L, which holds, and similarly for the character A and C. Alright, so this is the translate method, and that's pretty much it, so thank you for watching.